This is not a review, but in case you want to know whether you should watch Toby in theaters or not, well, the answer is a big yes. Just one request that please don't put too much pressure of GGVV on this film and allow this film to offer its own individualistic cinematic experience. Just lower your expectations a bit and give this film a chance to rise and shine. It is predictable, but still it deserves a chance. Also, watching Toby in theatres will give you a chance to experience the amazing background score and sound design of this film. Now, I'm going to talk about Toby in this video by mentioning a couple of moments from the film, so spoilers ahead. With Toby, I can confidently say that Kannada cinema continues to ace the art of visual storytelling that is deeply rooted in its nature. I reached the theatre slightly late and missed the opening scene of the ritual, so please, if anyone can just quickly summarize it for me in the comments, that will be great. But for the rest of the film, I had a great time and the credit for this film should not just belong to the immaculate writing of Rajbi Shetty, but to the entire team, especially Basil Alachakkal, who is uh, sitting on the director's chair for the very first time. Speaking of the creative choices, you can clearly figure out some of the creative choices that are very reminiscent of Garuda Gamana Vrishabha Vahana. But what fascinates me the most and uh, if I get a chance to speak to Rajbi Shetty someday, which I really hope I do, I would love to know about his inclination towards creating a character arc of a policeman, the protector of the law who believes in the law but doesn't believe in himself in terms of whether he can bear the responsibility of protecting the prestige of the law. And in the end, we witness a transformation of this character where he starts believing in himself by overcoming his fears and also performs his duties. In Garuda Gamana, this character was Brahmaya and in Toby, it is the character of the newly appointed police constable who enters an uncharted territory brimming with the stories of Toby. And speaking of Rajvi Shetty, he gets the chance to showcase his acting skills in a more expanded manner. He's absolutely phenomenal in this film. The same goes for Chaitra Achar, who uh, plays his daughter in the film because her character keeps juggling between a mentor and an ally in this film. Now, when it comes to visual storytelling, there are so many moments where you realize the passion and the effort that the makers have put into creating a piece of pure cinema. Starting with how they established the entire action of writing Toby's name on his hand because then it gets used as a plot device to move the story forward. And the part where I like its usage the most is when Toby picks up Father Iglesias after beating the goons uh, by offering the same hand on which Father Iglesias wrote his name and baptized him in one of the earlier scenes. And then there are a lot of other places where this handwritten name gets highlighted in order to close the gaps uh, between the scenes. Another plot device on which this entire story is based on is flashbacks. And the way we see the exposition unfold with the use of flashbacks is quite similar to Olidavaru Kandante. But then I won't accuse Rajbi Shetty for doing this because uh, he himself mentioned that Olidavaru Kandante opened the doors for filmmakers like him. There is a scene of the mortuary when on the camera left we have the cadaver and on camera right we have a newborn baby and uh, this is just so profound i don't think i have to explain too much in this and then in the second half when toby goes to dispose of his sins controlled by someone else we see fireworks in the background uh, when he starts crying and uh, these are such amazing choices that just explain a lot about how the intent of the filmmakers is so aligned to creating a unique cinematic experience, something that really feels different and it also leaves a great emotional impact. And again, I'm not just talking about the writer or the director, but the entire crew who perceives to achieve a certain result. Coming to the editing, I love the use of match cards, especially in the interval sequence. I hope you know what I'm talking about. Honestly, I have seen such creative use of match cards after a long time and that too in an action scene. Uh, also, the editing of the montages in this film is again very reminiscent of Garuda Gamna and uh, it just reminds you that this is the brainchild of Rajvi Shetty. And finally, from what I could understand about the character arc of Toby is that in the beginning he's considered evil by everyone around him but in the end he attains the divine status of Mari and uh, again it sounds very much like the entire story of Kantara. But I guess ultimately Rajvi Shetty was inspired by all such films to come up with something, come up with a world that looks familiar but it feels different and personal. And I would like to now conclude this video by saying that our country is getting to see such amazing stories being told by filmmakers who 
truly have a vision of uplifting Indian cinema and uh, Toby is surely an attempt towards achieving that vision.